In this video, I will explain what this GitHub repository is about and how to use it. This GitHub repository contains information about the dataset that provides a list of papers published on concreteness fading between 1966 and 2020. This dataset is based on the literature review paper on concreteness fading. And if you're interested in the details of this work, you can click on this link and click on this PDF button to access the paper. The reason for open sourcing this dataset is to support a shared understanding of the technique and to provide an interface for various disciplines and research communities to communicate, share, and inform each other about new findings and new implementations of concurrence fading. So if you have any new papers related to concurrence fading or know of any papers missing from the dataset, we would appreciate it if you can add it to this dataset. This would help increase the visibility of your work, uh, others' work, and help us reach a shared understanding. Now, so how do you add the paper? There are two ways to add the paper, one by using the Google spreadsheet or by using the web app. So let's take a look at the spreadsheet first. So to add a paper to this spreadsheet, it's very simple. You just come down to the bottom of this table and start typing the information. And note that you can hover over the head of these columns to understand what, you, what information you need to put in for each column. And so let's say I've added a paper here. And now let's move on to the web app. Uh, the thing is, the spreadsheet and web app, they're synced. So uh, now that I've added something in the spreadsheet, I can click on the sync, and you see that this paper has been added in this web app. Oh, and now, how do you add the paper to this uh, web app? You can just click on this Add button. And because the last ID is 262, it should be 263, uh, let's say 2023. And this is required, so let me just put that in and let's save it. You see that it has been added here, and it has also been add it to this Google spreadsheet. Now, now that you've learned how to use, how to add the paper, uh, let me show you why this uh, spreadsheet or table uh, web app is useful. Uh, it's useful because it allows you to search for uh, relevant papers, papers relevant to your needs. So let's say you're looking for concurrent fade, uh, fading papers uh, written in the math education context. Now you can filter for um, the domain of your interest. And you can also uh, look for um, how it was implemented, uh, what the target group was. Um, and so let's say the order of progression. You can just look for uh, concrete to abstract and that would give you just the papers that uh, used that approach um, and, and so on. Now, if you have any questions about uh, this data set or how to use it, um, please send me an email um, using this email address.